Hi everybody, uh, today I want to ask the question, why do YouTubers always have to be such pieces of shit? Uh, I literally just woke up with the news that uh, an internet persona that I am faintly aware of turns out to be <laughs> abusing their significant, Jesus Christ, significant others. Um, and I just, I had to ask this question to myself, like, how? Um, so this video is going to be even more of a ramble than my usual ones, but just... We'll just dive into it. Uh, I don't think I can, like, faint answer the question. I don't know, maybe, like, uh, the, the fucking fame or whatever just goes to their heads. Um, but I think it's just the case of any, like, internet f following or whatever. Like, if you look at Harry Styles fans, he has a fucking gazillion fans. So, like, there's going to be, let's say, 0.5 percentage of that is going to be, like, actual psychopaths. And that's just the, ca the case with, with anything. And I think it should be... It probably is the same with on online content creators. Like, th there's, like, thousands of online content creators. Uh, and a, a small percentage of that is just going to be a piece of shit. But it's just a shame. Like, it's, if you're watching this video, there's probably... You can probably think of a YouTuber right now that you used to watch... But you can't pretty much watch anymore because of some drama controversy that's, that comes out. Some of it is just like really fucking bull. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, uh, YouTubers, uh, Finger Kid 69 dissed uh, another YouTuber. It's just some fucking shitty beef between YouTubers that nobody cares about. And you know, that's just, <laughs> that's just basically free views. Um, and there's some things that are like, really concerning to happen like it, some things people do on the internet is just so insignificant and then there's people who can't come at night if they don't hold 12 children in their basement um I, i'm sorry if you used to watch minecraft videos because jesus christ that's just a fucking battlefield <laughs> it's a slaughterhouse uh so many i don't know what it is with minecraft youtubes and grooming children i think they kind of they should have just played an inductee video where step one is to not groom children and step two is to make good videos. It, I, I, I don't get it. It's like so many people. <laughs> I, I think that if you're watching this right now, there's a good chance you've, you, you used to watch Minecraft videos. And <laughs> fortunately, I don't really have that kind of... An, well, at least none of the YouTubers that I still actively watch have been like fully cancelled like my favorite youtuber came close to it but it turned out he was innocent which is another thing there were so many false accusations on the internet um there's some like real <laughs> concerning things that happen and also some like oh no he he sent me weird messages on discord and then it's just like it's you you just set it up you know and <laughs> The internet is a wild place. I think that's kind of the, the thing to take away from this video. But it, I, I don't know what it is with YouTubers or whatever internet persona you would, might like. But how <laughs> how difficult it is for them to not be racist, homophobic, to not, not touch children, uh, to not abuse their significant others. Like, it, it is some fucking eternal challenge for them, which... It, it might just be the, the fame that they have. <laughs> Sorry, this is just kind of funny to me. Like, oh, the, the big number on my on my uh, YouTube page is just giving me such an ego. <laughs> All the hordes of children that watch my videos and the dedicated fan base I have. Now I have to try to <laughs> abuse my significant, significant other. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing, but it's just so wacky to me that so many it, it, it's kind of sad really like my favorite youtuber for example is pyrocynical um <laughs> which uh, let me just say uh, what was it like 2020 2021 or whatever that was not a good time to be a pyrocynical fan uh, <laughs> and then you know it, it turns out he was innocent and you're like oh well good um but then like some people watch mini lad <laughs> Which, I'm, I'm sorry for you if you did. And, like, as I said, like if, if YouTube is just stuck in some, like, bullshit YouTube drama where it just disses another content creator, it, it, like, 
who cares? Who gives a shit at the end of the day? It's just YouTube, like, internet squabbles. Nobody from the outside world cares about, unless you're, like, Logan Paul or whatever. But there's people on YouTube who did, like, such crazy things. And it's just statistics, I guess. Like, a small percentage of people online are always going to be fucking nutjobs. And it's just, uh, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame how many YouTubers have fallen into a pit of grooming children or have made racist or homophobic comments. Some of them just say funny words just to be, just to try to be funny, said racist words. And it's just weird to me. Uh, that's something I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I just, just think about it. How many YouTubers that you have watched, if you're watching this right now, that you used to like have have had some sort of big controversy about him. Uh, so that's a little bit of a, a false experience to leave you off with. Uh, thank you for watching. This is uh, <laughs> a very bad video. <laughs>